once upon a full moon, in the coziest household of wonderful fun, Dreamer the sleepy dog was practicing his sleep meditation for kids, to go on amazing dream adventures, and to really relax so very well. Because, as you will learn during this calming bedtime story, after much mischief and cheeky play throughout the day, Dreamer the sleepy dog just loves to plonk down on his soft and safe dog bed and enjoy lots of happy, adventurous dreams. And as you may have guessed, that is how he got his name. And to begin being all dreamy, he closes his drowsy eyes, rests his sleepy paws, and lets his body go all floppy. Just like a cat, although he wouldn't like us saying that. And if you would like to meet Dreamer very soon, and go on an exciting journey, just rest your eyes by closing your eyelids, and begin to take some deep breaths in and out. Simply inhale through your nose, and feel your belly expand like a balloon. And then let the air flow out. Brilliant, very well done. Again, take a deep, healthy breath in through your nose, filling your belly with air. And now let the air flow gently out. Fantastic! Dreamer would be most proud of you. Just breathe naturally now, as you enjoy this enchanting feeling of lovely, dreamy relaxation. Now if you are someone who loves puppies, and dogs, and all animals great and small, you are about to really enjoy this sleep meditation tale. Because as you get dreamier and cozier, and begin to feel light as a cloud, Dreamer the sleepy dog will very soon take you on a most marvellous adventure through your wonderful imagination. Firstly, Dreamer asks if you can imagine and see twinkling starlight surrounding your whole body. These glittering beams of starlight are the energy of pure love and will keep you perfectly safe on this journey and beyond. Can you feel this magical, relaxing energy? Fantastic, that's great. And now, much to your surprise, you easily imagine the room around you begins to fade away. And you gradually find yourself standing in the middle of a huge, peaceful park. You gaze up and see the sky is beautifully blue, with fluffy white clouds floating through the air. The sun feels warm upon your face, and a gentle breeze dances through your hair. This parkland appears to be at the edge of an enchanted looking forest. You look around and see wise old trees 
surrounding this big open field of softest green grass. This place is truly magnificent. If you could design the perfect parkland in your mind, it would look just like this. And just when you thought this park was empty, all of a sudden, you see a creature bounding towards you through the grass. It's a very happy dog. You can see that he's older than a puppy, but not quite yet fully grown. And he is so bursting with energy and joy that you can't help but smile as you feel your lips curl up in happiness. He arrives to where you are and prances around you and woofs to tell you his name is Dreamer. And you find yourself making a woofing sound softly in reply to tell him your name. You can easily speak the dog language here in this dreamland. How fun! You reach out and pat Dreamer's softest fur, noticing that his dark coat turns white at his paws. This white fur makes him look as though he is wearing socks. How cute! Dreamer woofs again to tell you he is keen to give you a grand tour of this dreamy parkland and show you how dogs like to play. Dreamer suddenly challenges you to a running race to the forest edge and he bolts off running so fast through the grass. You quickly realise and immediately run as fast as you can, gaining on him and catching up, until you run right alongside one another. Dreamer gives you a cheeky grin and moves even faster. So now you run with all of your might feeling so fast you are almost flying as you race forth, keeping up with Dreamer until you both reach the forest edge in a tie. Breathless, you fall into the grass and lie back laughing at how much fun that was. You gaze up and notice the shady branches of the wise old trees swaying here in the gentle wind at the edge of the forest. With a little bark, Dreamer communicates that he wishes to show you how to choose the perfect stick for fetch as he trots deeper into this woodland. With a deep breath, you follow him between the trees, feeling very curious for what you might discover here. And Dreamer guides you to explore the fallen branches of the tall green trees. Recycling the timber to find what is not too heavy and not too light. Not too big, but not too little. Just the right size for the jaws and the paws. 
And so, after finding the perfect natural wooden stick, you play the games of catch and fetch here in the green forest. You throw this stick so far and so high and even around tree trunks. But good old dreamer bounds about and catches the stick every time. What a clever dog. You see fresh forest flowers are sprouting up everywhere. This really is the healthiest, happiest place in nature. As you continue to play fetch, you travel deeper and deeper into the woodland. until together you arrive at the base of the biggest tree you have ever seen. Its ancient trunk is thick and strong. Its branches reach up to the very top of the forest and high into the sky above. With a happy wag of his tail, Dreamer shows you a hidden hollow in the enormous tree trunk. An opening big enough to climb into. How mysterious. Together you climb all the way inside. And it is very cosy, like a smooth chamber or tree cave, lit from within by gorgeous glowworms. To your amazement, you see that this ancient tree has paw prints and carvings of other dogs that must have been here too. This is the tree hollow of blessings. How special. Dreamer tells you this wise and loving tree blesses all creatures with confidence, happiness, love, great health, and a wonderful life. You feel very lucky, blessed, and deeply grateful to be here, in this remarkably special place. When you have enjoyed enough time in this tree hollow of blessings, you climb on out and say thank you to this tree by giving it a huge hug. Dreamer puts his paws around the trunk and does the same. Dreamer seems very happy to have a playmate in you, a friend he can count on to have so much fun and share these special experiences with. Because now he leads you on another little adventure. And so you take another deep breath and follow Dreamer through the trees towards the soothing sound of running water. And now you see a creek, a clear babbling brook of calming, cascading water.
With a happy grin, Dreamer teaches you how to go hopping and skipping over stones in this creek. He shows you how to wait very still on a rock and then pounce to catch beautiful butterflies and buzzing dragonflies gently in your paws and then release them back into the wild to fly away and be so free. Watching them makes you feel so free in your heart, and this is all becoming a happy blur of dreamy, wonderful fun. You have some time now to explore some more with Dreamer, and when you hear my voice returning to this tale, you will feel even sleepier and so very ready to return home to bed. And after a wonderful adventure in the forest of happy dreams, you see Dreamer the sleepy dog is looking extra sleepy. And you feel very tired now too. And so Dreamer woofs goodbye and leads you to the top of a little grassy hill. where you both roll downwards, faster and faster, downwards and down, all the way to town, and all the way home. Until it's all a brilliant blur, and you think you may already be asleep and dreaming so very well. Because you feel your own warm, safe, cosy bed supporting you and helping you fall fast asleep right now. Just like Dreamer on his soft little dog bed snoozing the night away.
and as you shift deeper into your most wonderfully relaxing sleep, you feel very safe and very loved, very confident and so good about yourself. Because you know you are a great friend. All creatures love being friends with you. And Dreamer the Sleepy Dog would love to take you on more happy adventures anytime you wish. Sweet dreams, dear child, and good night.